I still think around 60 to 70% of people that we catch snakes for have a genuine fear of them. Now, you know, I'm, I'm not just talking that they don't necessarily understand them enough, but they have a genuine fear. So that's the situation here where we're heading to an elderly couple's house and the wife, yeah, she simply just can't even sleep at night if there's a snake out the back. So it's a carpet python. It's in a bit of a challenging spot, but we'll head over now and hopefully relocate it elsewhere. Huh. I'm just trying to encourage him that way. Not good timing. That's all right, is he going on the roof? Yeah. That's all right, I prefer him out there than here. I think he's gone underneath. Is your neighbour home? Yeah, because it went straight over, because I got up, it didn't go. Yeah. Oh, there it is there. Cheeky bugger. Yeah, right, eh, cranky. Uh oh. Just gently head grabbed him, then I'll unwrap him. There he is. He's a bit strikey, but that's all right. Just calm down now. Got there eventually. <laughs> oh dear. All right, Mr. Python. Obviously a little bit cranky, but you know, that happens. Off you go. Just down here along the uh, apartment strip in Maroochydore near the surf club and they've actually got a snake in one of the um, body corporate apartments. We're not sure, I think it's up a couple of flights of stairs. So it could be a tree snake or a python but could be surprised by something else. As we all know that uh, venomous snakes can climb. So a bit of a mystery this one but we'll see what happens and hopefully they keep an eye on it. He nearly got to the top, he was only one, two, three steps short of the top. That's crazy. That's cool, eh? You now I'm puffed. Hey, little fella. What are you doing up here? What are you doing? You need to be outside in the bush. Come on. Lucky someone didn't stand on you. In you go. How about that, eh? Huh. Uh. Got this cute little python <clears throat> who's still half asleep. They made it up four or five floors in a unit complex in Maroochydore, a long way from bush, but we found a little patch nearby and gonna release him here. Way better spot. The phone hasn't stopped today. Uh, the sun is going down, as you can see, it's starting to get dark, and uh, I've had another call come in. Uh, snake sounds like a python cruising along their back court. You hardly hear it, and it keeps sort of nuzzling the window and the uh, sliding door trying to get in. So we're going to head over and relocate it. Good day. How are you? Good. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's got a um, feed or something there. That's 
Sometimes they are, but then as soon as you lay a hand on them. Oh, not too bad. Eight, <laughs> Sometimes like this, but other times they can be a little bit, a little bit bitey. Still pretty cold, but it's not you come out of the trees today. You come down the fence. Yeah, okay. I thought I would just go away, but then he come, come in here. So. Beautiful. So yeah, he's got something probably furry in there, probably a little rodent. Yep. Excellent. Okay, Mr. Python. There's his food item there. You're very friendly, aren't you? Off you go. Just received a call for a python. It's actually got a big food item in its belly and it's got its head and I think like a third of its body through this wire basket um, in the uh, carport area of the home. So we're gonna head over there, hopefully get him out. Hopefully he's not stuck and relocate him back into the bush. So, so he's under there. Under here? He is under here, so up in the top. It's basically a set of wire baskets with balls and things in it. Yeah, no worries. So if you take that box off the top, it's a sleep. Ah. Oh, yeah. So did you, get, did you say it had something to eat recently? I think you had something to eat recently, yeah. Oh, it looks like it's actually... Stuck. Yeah. You can pull those... Hey. Or do you mind if I video just for us? No, that's all right. No, that's all good. We... We part, we video stuff anyway. I'm just gonna gently head grab the snake because what I need it to do is I need it to go back through. No, it's not doing what I thought it would. No, I'm just gonna let it go. Might have to just backtrack itself. Yeah. No, no you can't. Could we let the two top? No, here you go. Here we go. That's it, keep going. Keep going. No, 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 no. Ouch, you count, ouch, you count, ouch, you count. Bloody pythons sometimes, I tell you. That's it, go through. Nice, I'm being gentle. I'm being gentle. I'm not even grabbing you. You gotta back it up. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Through here, look, look, look. Nearly there. There you go. We're all good. Oh, no, we're not. I'm just trying to support the food item here as well. You just watch your movements, don't... Far out. You get the head off and then the tail's all tangled. Oh, come on, snake. Come on. Oh, you've got to be extra careful with. There we go, there we go. Beautiful. Nice healthy python. All right. Has got a food item, so I'm just going to let it go in the bag itself. There you go. And we'll go relocate it elsewhere. Sharon, Stuart and Chris. Hi. <laughs> so my husband was just walking through the gate. Yep. We go down here quite fast and it went in under the oh, garden shed there. Yeah, okay. Okay. That garden shed door was opened at the time. Okay. It's open on the other side, but he's around there. He's watching. Okay. How would you describe it? Oh, it's about that long. Yep. And about pretty thick. There you go. All right. It could be under here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. I might um, I might grab a torch, mate. Yeah. That's when we look in that shed, eh? Yep. Oh, what? Hi. Hi. 
No, just just keep an eye out for now, Sol. I'm just gonna look down this hole again. All right, eyes on. Roger. You want me to try flapping out your way? No, no, he's gonna have to come your way, I think. Oh, yep, got him. Where'd he go? What? Which way is he, Chris? I don't know, I lost him in the truck. He's going there now. Oh, no, he's up. Yep, he got him. Okay. Where's his head, back? Where are the move, boys? I don't know where he's headed. Where are the move, boys? No, I'm going to have to let him go, man. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, you're right. Heads up. Which way is he going? Yep, he's heading out. Heading out of the garden. He's going, along the, going along the fence. Go back. He's going under. He's going under. Really? Yep, yep, yep. Hey, excuse me, mate. There's a brown snake in the yard. There's a brown snake in the yard. Are we all right to jump in? Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone get a bag? Bag coming in. Nice. Chris is smiling at the back. Wow, look at the patterns on him. Unbelievable. Good snake. He's pretty tired now. Oh, yeah, he, him and me both, eh? Yeah? <laughs> How good's that? All right, bagging him up. Oh, I'm not the hay. See that movement orientated? That's why we keep our movements to a minimal. Get down. Snake in the bag. Woo!